So this problem um, is asking for the probability of getting exactly two heads if three coins are tossed. So how should you approach this problem? So basically you need to know the total number of outcomes, um, total number, I guess, of combination, right? When it comes to tossing three coins at the same time. So when you, call, when you toss three coins at the same time, how many combinations do you actually have? You can have um, a head, another one for the second coin, another one for the third coin, right? So you can actually start doing this to find the total number of, let me use a yellow color. I like yellow better. Head, head and head. Uh, we can also use um, the the second toss can show um, head, head, and a tail, right? The third toss, I mean not the third toss, but another toss could, could possibly show um, a head, tail, and head right or you can also have a head tail and tail so either one of these can actually show or you can have uh, a tail tail all three of them show tail right or you can have a tail tail and a head or you can have a tail, a head and a tail. Um, or you can have a tail and two heads. So these are your possible outcomes when you toss three coins at the same time. So this is equal to eight outcomes total. nothing more nothing less so these are your combinations so now what's the probability of getting exactly two heads so we can count how many times you actually have um, two heads there's one over here there's another one and there's another one over here so three times so the probability is then equal to three the desired outcome out of the total number of outcomes. So 3 over 8 and that's 0.375. Right. So your probability of getting exactly two heads when you toss three coins at the same time is exactly 0.375. So it doesn't take long for this problem so you can see how actually visualizing what's going on actually helps a lot when you're solving these type of problems. Alright, so let me know if you have any questions.